Christian, you can see it's pretty dark around me here in Dnipro, and that's what it's like across the country. According to the Ukrainian government, the Russians launched 70 missiles today. 51 of them were intercepted, but that means that 19 got through. And what they hit mainly was energy infrastructure. All four of the country's nuclear power plants have now been shut down because of safety reasons. It's affecting water as well. Many people are without water as well as light. There is no way on this earth that this is a legitimate military target. What this does is it makes life hell for civilians, and that appears to be the aim of the Russians at the moment. They also hit this hospital, which we visited today. It was an ordinary hospital near Zaporizhia, out in a fairly rural area, the most important hospital in the region. Now, what we're going to show you tonight, I'm not going to tell you that, give you a warning that these images are particularly gruesome or particularly distressing. I just warn you that this story, what we saw today, is unbearably sad. The strike came in just after 2 a.m. and hit the maternity wing. Emergency services arrived before dawn and started to pull out patients and medical staff from under the rubble. By the time we got there, they'd rescued everyone they could. But there was one patient who was just too tiny, too vulnerable to save. It's impossible to know if this hospital was targeted or whether this was a result of a missile that went astray because Russia is running short of precision munitions. What we do know is that Ukraine's health infrastructure is being degraded all the time and that on this occasion there was a casualty. His name was Serhi. He was just one day old. The hospital director was taking charge, seeing what could be salvaged from the wreckage. He had heard the blast, rushed over and seen the worst. Inside, Councillors were ushering family members into a room to provide whatever support they could. The father stayed in the corridor, alone with his thoughts. According to the World Health Organization, this was the 704th attack on a healthcare facility since the war began. Hundreds of Ukrainian hospitals have been damaged or destroyed while others lack fuel, water and electricity. A few hours later, another barrage of missiles was aimed at Kyiv, killing at least four people. Several apartment blocks were hit, but as before, the main target was energy infrastructure. Cars are providing light, because most of Ukraine is without power tonight, so hospitals and other critical facilities must rely on generators while ordinary people are learning to live in the cold and the dark. Back at Vilnyansk, hospital staff, mainly women, were clearing up the debris, trying to restore normality, keeping going, staunching their tears by working, thinking of those who've been lost here and across the country. Oy, bol, bol, if the aim of this cruelty is to sap the will of Ukrainians to keep fighting, then it's failing. But no one has any illusions about how much more there is to hit and how hard it will be to live through the winter ahead.